to my channel it's monday and i'm in a new book so i put away my um july book um yesterday and i have my august book and ready to go here just kind of have done my morning routine um usually on my monthly because this is the last week i always kind of double plan which is w weird or double document because I also put the 26, you know, like the whole week at the top right here because it obviously starts on a Sunday. So I guess when that happens, that's what I do. Um, let's get into my actual routine this morning. It was nice because, um, I don't know, just starting a new book and reaching for something new is always really nice. So by the end of the day, I'll put my memory here. I did account for the 26th through the uh, 31st. This book is going to the 22nd. Um, I kind of don't really, I've already migrated everything into what I think I could possibly handle this week. From my main tasks and personal goals, my thankfulness, I don't start until Sunday, but I do have my gratitude right here. So scripture is the same. So here's my tracker that I filled in. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I'm filming. So I do wanna document when we go to the YMCA, when I unplug and homeschool, I have an Instacart coming. Um, so I kinda look at this stuff in the morning and kinda this stuff in the evening with the, you know, the cooking and the bathing. Um, morning pages, devotion notes, and then my soap study. I changed this area to prayers instead of confessions. So I had my confessions tab right here. Maybe I'll move this later on to my um, commonplace book. But for right now, I pray for me, my husband, Isaac, and Sophia. So that's what I'm gonna do got my food log here. I literally just had my oats with blueberries. So yesterday I did really good with eating. I didn't do a lot of snacking. I didn't eat no sweets. I didn't do anything. So that's awesome. I did forward plan some pages. Um, I have these right here. So that way um, I can when I draw them out, I can put some more pages. These are from Capital Chic Design. So my brain dump is completely filled for here on Monday. Um, I transferred a lot from my old book to here. So um, homeschool scriptures, I am just writing some down right here. Um, I do want to make like an actual plan. So you know, like type it up and print it into my here. I wanna do a birthday photo shoot for myself. I did order some hazelnut K-cups. I need to figure out a gym schedule. I did get some multivitamins for Sophia already. So I wanna find a daily insert to tip in. So I'll talk about that in a minute. So here's my week. I'm not wanting to track anymore right here. I'm wanting to just put my habits. So in terms of like right there, I may find like a sticker. Let's see. Like a, like this, you know? And then just put it there because I don't really need to track. So we'll see if I'll reach out to, um, Hourglass planners. So, right here, I typically put some th some stuff as well, but I'm gonna leave it open. My goals: um, no sugar, low carb, vegan, not low carb. I don't eat meat. Exercise: do some hits, water, just focus. Um, I do need to get some white out. So I'm thinking. I don't know, these ones seem a little better. 
I don't know where I got these from. Maybe the Dollar Tree. I don't know. But the ones that I was using, like when I press down, it, it'll break. Like the little thing right here. So I'm going to get some of those. So here is my day. I actually decided to, like, usually it was morning, afternoon, evening. But I noticed that I put a lot of my morning to-dos right here. So this is like morning all of this <laughs> so um yeah i have got jim here but she's not wanting to go so i'm gonna try again and we have about an hour to see if you know i'm gonna ask her again if she don't want to i'm not gonna push it so i'll leave this open for what we actually want to you know what actually happens i do want to use my B6 Slim Weekly as a time blocker. So I wanna be able to actually plan my day and then this will be what actually happened, if that makes sense. So like the night before, have a plan of action. Um, and we'll go into this B6 Slim in a minute because I really actually, haven't started using it, but I really like it. So I placed that already. Um, so I've got to take my vitamins right now. I'm going to go to the YMCA and hopefully exercise today and then hydrate. I still have my exercise log, which is here. And then my health log, which is here. Um, I brought over my tracker here and my morning, um, I mean my, my planner system. So I've got that at, um, all here. And in this book this month, it's only day on one page. So these are my other days. I have to tip in um, a paper. So I'm gonna probably figure out what that is. I do have some leftover Stology paper. So I may, in fact, just like tip that in um, because I, I really love my Stology paper. And then now that I did my September book in Tomo River, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I don't know. <laughs> I mean, obviously I'll use it, but. So that's that, y'all. And then I've got my next week. I've got my next set of dailies. And like I said, my common place book will catch anything and everything that I'm feeling I want to write about. So whatever that is, a common place book is like a list of collections. No nonsense, random notes that don't have a place to go in your planner, basically. So um, I've already showed like a whole flip of that. I guess I can, um, you know, what are in your comment books? Random notes, sermons, podcast collections, goals, plans, date night ideas, distortion, faith ideas, blog notes, YouTube ideas, like all of this. I just kind of, one day that's just what I put in. Getting things done notes, processing purchases, affirmations for mama, homeschooling stuff, fall ideas, craft activities, which I got these really cute space little rocket post-its from Sophia and I stole some from her. <laughs> I'll put that there. Um, positive thinking, Sophia's strengths. You can't take a toddler's personality test right now, but I'm kind of just documenting what those are. And I want to get some activities based around her strengths. I'm just filling it in as I go with my personality. Um, I like structure and routine. I need time with transition. I'm extroverted with my friends. Like, it's just putting stuff in here. Notes on being a supportive wife. A podcast on strongholds. Um, a, a prayer. Homeschooling scriptures on trusting God. Um, journaling. And that's it. So for right now, I am just so smitten in my August setup. So happy. So here is my companion for the week. I haven't quite figured out how I want to use it, but oh my gosh, it just feels really good in the hands. And then just to not have rings and then be in a different size, it's great. So this whole board is brown. It's not black. So, um you know, just stickers galore in here. And I've been meaning to cut 
this because when I'm putting it in there and that sticks out, it, it obviously it just bothers me. So I love the Holborn. You can actually put a book right here. Like say I didn't want to put this book. This is like a reference book. Say I didn't want to put it over there and I wanted to put it right here. It's really nice. Um, I can do that. Well, there's stickers and stuff in there, so I would have to move them all. But I would have to um, like cut just a little smit, like a, like a little piece off, and this would totally fit in right here. I just need to, you know, obviously it's, this pocket is smaller than, than what this book is. So I don't plan on putting this book on the strings. It has a lot of um, monthly bills, Isaac's school stuff, important dates, um, just things that I reference. And this was in my rings, my Julio rings. So for right now, I have it back here and it works perfect. I've got these little Cosmo sticky notes that I kind of just put back in in case I want to use them. And then all of these little stickers just kind of go in here. So I really love the idea of having a different size TN with me because if I wanted to take this on the go, I totally can. Um, this notebook is a grid notebook and I had did, you know, use this before. So I want to say this was Thanksgiving last year. Yeah, this is November. Well, duh, right here. Um, and I kind of drew that in. And then I had um, did a monthly and then I did like a weekly that I tipped in. Well, this said June. So obviously I can't, you know, use that. So I was whiting it out to say August. And obviously I would have to like white out the dates and that's fine because this this uh, page is stark white and I think I got this from Simply Trendy Co. It's a little printable. So obviously I'm not gonna do that right now. I would have to repurpose the dates. Um, I don't know what I would use this for. Other, I thought mood, like mood tracking because I really do wanna get a visual of my mood but then this is not like graph. Um, I have a B6 Slim printable from, uh, yeah, Paper and Cats. It's the one that Amanda Imperfections created. So I thought to tip that in here too, cause I could get like a visual. So I don't know exactly what I'll use this monthly for. I don't think I'll paste any more in, but I wanted to get use of it since it's here. Um, and again with this, I don't, I don't know, it just looks really cute. So I tabbed it bullet journal. So this to be my bullet journal. Bullet journal typically for me is just like notes, uh, true bullet journal. Um, sometimes I, you know, like here, I'll just do something like this, right? So today is Monday and it's July 26th. So sometimes depending on where I'm at in the day, obviously this is the morning, I do have plans. Oops, I want my glue stick that I've kind of, you know, said I was gonna do, but sometimes I like to list out those plans with no stickers, no washing, no nothing, and just list it out. And that works for me. So that's how it would work hand in hand with that. So bullet journal is just, just exactly what it means. So I have um, a today. Now I like to do these in the night. So I did this, this was Saturday and I meant to put a header on it and I never did. So I'll do Saturday, even though I'm just kind of covering up that right there. I think that was what, the 24th? Was Saturday the 24th? Uh, yeah. So I'll just kind of do it like that. And then I use these as I go. These are one of my favorite daily inserts. I swear, you know, they're so bomb because it's AM, PM, and you could just, I mean, you could use these for essentially whatever. So these again, come in a standard size. 
Um, B6 Slim, if you're not aware, is the same width as the standard. It's just the standard is longer, so you could just cut the bottom off. Um, and then again, here's the weekly. So I thought to use this weekly as like a time block, right? So um, these books are a little stiff, I will say that, but the way you can handle that is just kind of, if you take them out of its thing and just kind of fold them over, they, they tend to do really well, like laying flat after that. So my goal, obviously this is the 26, is to use pencil in here. I've loved doing that back in the day and I thought, um, why not try that again? And I love this pencil for it. So this would be what, you know, if you could see, I don't know if you could see, they have the time right there. So it's all the way, it's military time. I know that the 13 is one o'clock. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So it's eight in the morning to 10 at night. And that's actually really good. So, you know, I would notate what time I woke up. And then today, right now, it's 9.40. So I've had, um, so like from 9 to 11, I'll say, it's kind of like a lot of me time where I film and then had um, breakfast. Then I make breakfast and do all kinds of stuff for my children. Typically between like 12 and 2, it's either homeschool or errands or stuff like that. So anyhow... I'm toying with what, like how I want my day to look. So let's just say, we'll go back over here to my main planner. She's not going to gym. So this is gonna be what happened. You know what I mean? So there are some things that, I want to accomplish, like I want to do the laundry, I want to exercise, and I want to do some homeschool. So, and that's between, you know, 12 and 2. So, I don't know. I'm going to see how this works for today. Um, what's that? 2, 3, 4. I usually start dinner right here. And then I'll just put like bath and I don't know, family time. So obviously this will account for some of my things that I know I need to do. Uh, you know, like I think Thursday I have an implant at 10.30. So this top row up here can truly catch some of the things that I know we have to do or go to. I know we have a retirement class on Saturday and that is like hubs. And I really like how the pencil glides on the, um, this paper. I don't know why. So I've got that. My home stuff is either yellow or gray. So, Sophia is purple. So, I guess I'm, I want to use this for a, like I should have done it obviously uh, last night, but I didn't. So, like tonight, have a plan of action for tomorrow and like do that for the whole week and see how it works. Um, because I want to see where I'm spending a lot of my time. So anyhow, that is what I want to do for that. <laughs> we'll see how it works. Um, I do have another monthly in here because that's what came with the calendar inserts. Um, I always, always, always start on a Monday. I don't like Sunday starts unless I accidentally bought those type of inserts, but they usually do not work for me. Um... 
I thought to use my monthly as confessions every day um, or some type of, I'm not gonna put my scripture, I'm not gonna put, like I just want this to be some type of faith base. So I am going to do that right there and put faith somehow. I'll put faith use. And then I have this reference book. It is the idea notebook that I cut down to like a B6 slim size. And then right here I have a blue and a black, but I'm gonna put my pencil and a black if it hangs off of there, yeah. And I can still close it because I don't have a lot of tabs right here. I have it today, but it's not gonna do anything there. So anyhow, my friends, I am super stoked. I don't know exactly how this is all gonna turn out, but this is what I'm doing. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, as usual, happy Monday.